Morning all, David Eco Tune here. Um, I'm just going to go through uh, this vehicle here. Um, so it's had a used DME, can't take that off, EDC 16 CP35, used engine ECU, original engine ECU, completely water damaged, no read, so can't clone it. Customers brought it here for a solution. So, what I want to show you guys is I want to show you changing the ISN in it all by OBD using two tools VVDI and Autel IM608. <clears throat> now, the whole job can be done using Autel IM608. Um, however, you will have to take the CAS out and put the CAS on the bench. This is a CAS2 module on here. Um, I'm going to plug the IM608 into it. I'm going to switch the dashes on. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the ISN for the D, um, DDE in the ISN. Uh, as you can see here, um, these are the faults we've got in the engine ECU. Uh, obviously anti-tampering uh, anti because we've got an uh, EWS ISN code mismatch because obviously the second hand ECU. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people struggle with these, but it's really simple if you've got the tools, obviously. So we're using VVDI2 and we're using Autel IM608. So, IM608. What we're going to do, we're going to go into Wimo, accept BMW, we go to Smart Mode. Smart Mode is going to scan all the components that are on the Wimo system. So, obviously, CAS2, engine ECU, and EGS, automatic gearbox, if it's got it. This particular model uh, is actually a manual, um, so it's not going to find the transmission control unit. <clears throat> As you can see, we've got our faults in here, in the engine, um, glow plug error codes and uh, anti-tampering. Um, so what we're going to do, um, we're going to go into the CAS, we're going to go into ISN code management, Right, we're going to read the engine ECU ISN. So this is the new ISN from the used donor ECU. So this is the code that's important to us. And remember, this is all OBD. So D762. So write down D762. Let's have a look. So if this was matched, we'd get the same code in here. Um, so this is the uh, ISN in the cars relating to the DDE, DME. So this is going to be different because this is going to be the previous ECU's um, ISN. We're not going to change the ISN in the ECU. We're going to change the ISN in the cars. Give it two minutes and it will pull it. There you go. That's the old uh, ISN, 6B03. Um, so you can see there a mismatch. Right, so what you do now, if you only had the IM608, is you pull the CAS out, you put it on the bench. After you've got the CAS on the bench, you're going to go to ECU Renew. You're going to follow the guide. You're going to press OK. You're going to pull the files that you've just read from the CAS, and then you're going to write the ISN you want. However, we're not going to do that on this. We're going to use VVDI2. Um, so VVDI2, I'm just going to go plug it in. <clears throat> so, VVDI2. Right, we're going to go to connect. Connect it to the vehicle. Read the code. You see it's starting security login. It's read it. 6B03, which is in the CAS, which is the same as we had on the Autel. So now we're going to change it to the engine ECU code, which is D762. D762. I'm going to write the code. Okay. Sometimes don't write the first time, you've got to go through it again.
D762 written to the CAS. So that's it. CAS and ECU now married. Um, and all you've got to do, sync the DME in CAS. You can do this using VVDI. You can use it IM608, MK08, MS808. So that's it. Used ECU fitted to a BMW without any known old codes uh, in what? What's that? Five minutes? Job done. Cheers, guys.